started picking his feathers out after a couple weeks. He was lonely. I went and got him a little farm duck. Tater tots. Everybody else. How's it taste? I want to do stuff that matters with people who matter. What so, did you do when you went to Africa? I took my humble ditch digging skills and went and, and changed the lives of thousands of people. All right, we are in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we are at Modern Design Aquascaping, right, my man John Adams? Woohoo! What's up, man? This is John Adams, long time Good to see you, buddy. boss. How are you? Former certified Aquascape Contractor of the Year, and this is the Homestead, huh? No, Artist of the Year. Oh, that's right, let's do that again. <laughs> we are with Modern Design Aquascaping and John Adams. What's up, man? How are you, brother? Artist of the year for Aquascape, and you can tell by his truck. Look at look at his truck. So we're at the homestead where you guys start, right? Right on. Yeah. How the business is, you run it out of your house, right? Out of the house, man. Yeah. This is our shop. Okay. Where we keep our stuff. Yeah. Inside the shop, outside the shop. Hey, so let's to your up. team right here, real quick. Hunter Davis, the world. <laughs> Nick Adams. The world, me so, and Nick. So this is this would be Nick, <laughs> your middle son. Yep, middle son. Nick, good to see you, buddy. And then yeah, Hunter, man. Hunter, I've known you for how many years now? Three, four. Three. Going on three, three years. You've been with John. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Youngest, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Youngest, my youngest. Yep. Yes. And then we got uh, Tristan, the troublemaker son, right? Yep. Yep. Yes. He's back in here loading so up. So this is this is the morning ri ritual and routine. You're on your way. Yep. Bye. You're on your way to clean out a pond today, or Indeed, pondless? Indeed, pondless. Got a 15-foot pondless cleaner. Okay, so. you can see the resemblance when Jack Pretty had more hair. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The younger, faster, better looking yeah. version of me. It's got about as much of me. It's just right here. This is actually a pretty nice, neat trailer. Everything's uh, labeled, everything's, everything's organized. Check everything this out, go on. You show us how you got this set up. This is pretty Anything nice. Anything you need, it's all right here. We've got our build twos on our plumbing. Everything's just nice and tidy, so when you need it, it's right there. Very well stocked and appointed. Uh, trailer what time do you typically start a day eight o'clock okay eight o'clock firing time for these guys so. all right they'll work late they're not big early morning guys so they'd rather come in at eight and work till eight if it's a long day so how long have you been out of this location uh 15 years okay yeah and so you've got a, uh, I can already hear the waterfalls or the, uh, looks like drill uh, core rocks here, huh? Yep, we uh, just put in this rainwater capturing patio. With oh, okay, so it's a rainwater harvesting. Working on it for a while, yep. Okay, it is absolutely beautiful. So explain this to the viewers, how this works. So basically what you have is, you, you just have a huge basin of water underneath of us with the patio laid over the top. So that's okay. what's going on. All the rainwater that falls on it is captured through the stones, plus all the rainwater that lands on this half of my roof runs in. And it stores it all underneath. So how, how many uh, aqua blocks do you have, and how much? Uh... So I'd say 16. I think is the aqua block count that was down in there. So and then we've got about 100 hole? tons of river stone down on top of the aqua blocks. Mm -hmm. Two pumps, and it's just all recirculates. Everything's completely hidden. The goal was for it to be magical. We didn't want to put anywhere where you could find stuff. So there's no sign of where the pumps are or how you access anything. Literally, the water will just comes up, disappears. It all lights up at night. It's just beautiful, and you got to dig to find anything. There's a few cords sticking out of the wall over there, and that's all you get. And it works. People that come here don't realize where the water's going, right? Everybody asks, <laughs> "How's that happen?" That's exactly right. Look at this. <laughs> She's starving. Oh, she loves it. <laughs> this segment brought to you by Premium Color Enhancing Fish Food. Oh, she is pretty. What's the story of that duck? John and Tristan rescued a mallard in the middle of the road <coughs> that had been <coughs> stunned by a truck. And uh, we got this to keep him company. Because he started picking his feathers out after a couple weeks. He was lonely. And so I went and got him a little farm duck. And she's got her wings clipped. And I think he thought he was in heaven because he had his own pond, his, all the food he could eat, and, and then I brought him a woman. So the duck likes fish food. She does. She, it's her favorite. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your morning ritual. Yes. And she won't step on the patio until I go. If I take too long, she'll start coming closer. But she John knows to stay out. off. And then John chases her with the broom. So you love the duck, John? Come on, get out of here. Get, get, get. I ain't got time for that business. Not really, no. I leave the window open in, in the nighttime so I can hear this awesome water feature out here. It sounds like the river, and then about 6.30, it's like, ah, ah, ah. Right 
outside the window, it comes right up to the door. It wants its stinking color enhancing fish food. It won't eat duck food. It's got to have this so, fancy fish food so, to be happy. So your duck and your wife have more in common than you think. Oh, that's all right. I have no response to that. <laughs> This is like the junkyard for modern design aquascaping over here. The, our rock guy has aptly named these tater tots because we are the only people that order from him. He sells rocks all over. Tater tots. Tater tots. He sells rocks all over the country. And we're the only people apparently that like to use little stones that look the same as the bigger stones that we use. Tater tots. Everybody else. How's it taste? Yeah, get you a bite. So everybody else uses like small river rocks. They order big mountain boulders and then they get a pile of little river stones and all the little stones they use are different than the big stones so we're like that doesn't make sense for us here's some missouri limestone boulders that we've brought in and core drilled for some fountain construction this is just for our little stuff if we do bigger jobs we have stuff brought in i have nothing to say about you or the way you're holding that um <laughs> we stage some weird plants and water lilies sometimes we got like goldfish or we'll bring in some koi for somebody and we bring them in here and keep them and then all of our random driftwood pieces so this is just kind of where we stash stuff for uh, smaller projects when we don't bring in bulk on big jobs what's the story of this it's a big sign from a from a retail store that we used to have in a garden center back in 2008 before 2008 happened Actually, the guy that owned the garden center there decided that we were doing too well in 2007. So he came to me one day and said, I'm going to triple, triple, triple your rent mm -hmm. because you're doing better than I am. And it's hurt my feelings. So we got a little negativity. It didn't make sense. So we left and like three months after we moved out, the economy caved in on itself. He saved us from going down there. And then, you know, we were top heavy. We borrowed our way to the top like a lot of people did. So we ended up liquidating sold everything for half of what we paid for it and paid off as much debt as we could and you know it just pile drove us into the ground pretty much so we're in recovery mode for eight years here we are now and we're in the best shape we've been in financially since ever what since doesn't ever. kill you makes you stronger keep it simple stupid right that's right so this is our overhead really i mean that's what I we love got it. we got one little machine that we use down here we rent the perfect piece of equipment yep. so and we always have the exact right job and look, and at, look, and look at this view it is absolutely amazing out here. It's quiet. We'll be in there getting stuff ready in the office. There'll be deer out here. There'll be turkeys out here. Hey, look. Rabbits, squirrels, other sure. kinds of wildlife. Like hey. these guys yep. just come wandering in. Hunter, how does it feel as the only non-family member to work in the business? He is family. Oh, family. Don't you start. That's right, right here. Been around forever. That's my, my youngest. Okay, what you working on, John? Man, I got all kinds of things going Don't on. We're just trying to organize assets. This is a guy that loves sitting at an office. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, well, this is my least favorite place on the planet. I know it is. How long is it taking you to get to your business at this point where you actually have financial goals? For the last two years, we've had financial goals. So we went 22 years by the seat of our pants, and now we're aiming for somewhere. How does it feel to finally have a business that you're running versus a business that runs you? i got to be honest. I'm an artist at heart, Greg. It's, mm -hmm. it's really hard for me to take that step, you know? I mean, you're talking to one of the artists of the years, and now I'm trying to be businessman of the year, and that's not something that really is super exciting to me mm -hmm. the entrepreneur I didn't buy in mm -hmm. to be an entrepreneur I bought in because I'm an artist and I love building water features and I love that experience so why this so stuff then it's the only way that we're gonna take the business to the next level and now it's not about me it's not about a hobby it's not about me have creating myself my dream job it's about creating a business that can be handed off to my to my so, boys, to my team. So and you're finally motivated. I have to, motivation. To, to get the business side figured out. To, and if you have the business side messed with the art side, you're unstoppable. Absolutely. What, what is this? What is this? What is this on the wall over here? Budget on one side. The other side is some stuff from the content that we want to create mm -hmm. to put into our website and our social media so that we're doing educational stuff for people who are potentially going to buy from us we're sure. answering their questions that's basically what we're trying to do so this is a list of questions we'd like to answer electronically so people can get those answers without having to actually feel like they're being sold to some by somebody the thing that i love about this is you're merging the 
art side with the business side and you're creating a lifestyle we work so hard to create lifestyles for other people but if we fail to live the lifestyle ourselves what's the point of that and you want to have a work-life balance not only something that you love to do but something that could not just pay for your lifestyle but also for your kids and your their families absolutely it is now when you guys got here and you see what we basically just started demolishing the business our life, our home, the whole thing. We started saying, okay, exactly what you said, we're gonna create this lifestyle. So we banged out the patio in the front yard. That is the first water feature that I built at my home in almost 25 years of being in business. That rainwater capturement patio is the beginning. It's the first time I can slide my window yeah. open when I'm in bed and at night and hear the sound of the water falling. Ah. You have been all over the world with Aquascape. How many times have you been on Aquascape Foundation trips? Three times to Africa. You, a, a country bumpkin from Tennessee, has been three times to Africa. Why? Because I want to matter. That's it, man. I just want to matter at the end of the day. I want to, I want to do stuff that matters with people who matter. What so, did you do when you went <clears> to Africa? I took my humble ditch digging skills and went and, and changed the lives of thousands of people. And I don't, I don't know what else I can do. My own kids, I guess, are the only thing that I really feel like I can change here. One life at a time, one backyard, but to really make a difference before I'm done on this planet, that's why. And that is why John Adams was a uh, Artist of the Year and is one of our top tribe members. Love you, buddy. Thanks, Faye. Truly a family business. I think this picture says it all. Winner of the year of Aquascape, artist of the year, John Adams, a family business, a guy we just stayed at his home for the last couple of days, saw his beautiful ponds. This is why I do what I do, traveling around, seeing salt of the earth people running family run businesses that really care and love what they do. If you like what you see, let more people know about this by liking, commenting and subscribing and sharing these videos so more people can see what living the Aquascape lifestyle is all about, what family businesses are all about, what Ponds Done Right, Customers Serve Right is all about. I love my job.